Hi, today we're going to look at the Miracom QX Mini emergency communication system designed to provide emergency notification for small to medium size applications. This QX Mini system consists of a remote mic, the main panel, local operating console, and five booster panels. The main control panel has a microphone with push to talk, the main display with 12 programmable buttons that can be programmed to activate a zone, a digital message, or a combination of both. The optional QAZT 5302DS display adder offers an additional 24 programmable switches with the same functionality and expands the system to a maximum of 28 zones. Next, I will demonstrate the installation of the optional QAZT 5302DS. Looking inside the main panel, the Miracom QX Mini comes with the MD1078 mainboard and one QAD30 amplifier, which has 30 watts shared between two outputs. Taking a closer look at the MD1078, we have the remote mic and LOC audio output terminal, as well as the RS45 output terminal to synchronize communication with remote microphones and LOCs. We also have two relay inputs, which allow for panel activation, dedicated alarm contact, AC trouble, and common trouble relay contacts. Next, we have the RS45 out and in connections to communicate with subsequent booster panels in class A or class B. Moving on, we have the 24 volt aux output, the signaling line circuit connection for compatible fire alarms. To the right, we have two sync input that passes synchronization from NAX circuits, which can also be used to activate zones. The sync output connects to subsequent booster panels to pass along the synchronization. Next, we have two regulated 2.5 amp NAC circuits to drive horns and strobes. In the middle of the MD1078, we have three connection ports. P5 and P6 are reserved for amplifiers 1 and 2, and P7 is reserved for the QAS 2x8 splitter card. At the bottom left-hand corner, we have the USB Type-B port for programming the panel, and next to that, we have the RS45 address dip switch bank for addressing the panels. To the right, we have the reset jumper. When momentarily shorted, it will reset the panel. In blue, we have the panel's trouble buzzer. To the right, we have the positive and negative battery terminals. And finally, the 29-volt AC transformer input. Taking a closer look at the QAD30 amplifier, we have two class A or B outputs that share a total of 30 watts combined. Next, I will demonstrate the installation of the secondary QAD30 amplifier. Now that we have the second QAD30 installed in P6, we can set our dip switch addresses on the bottom to 1 and 2. We now have provisions to use the second QAD30 as a backup amplifier by connecting the backup input to either A or B output from the first QAD30 amplifier. The QAS 2x8 splitter provides eight fully supervised class A or B output zones that can be driven by two separate inputs from both primary and secondary amplifier circuits. I will now demonstrate the installation of the QAS 2x8 splitter card. The booster panels use the same main board MD1078 with provisions for two QAD30 amplifiers and one QAS 2x8 splitter card. The booster panels allow for support for a distributed audio system. The booster panels can act as a subsequent followers to the main panel functions. Up to five booster panels can be connected to a QX Mini main panel. Thanks for watching.